This is the wet cloth. Is something that you should have in your um, massage kit. Now, most clients are fine. You can work on these. But some clients come in after a long day, even with the best intention, it can be smelly. So what I will ask you to do, at that point, you don't start telling them, because your legs are smelly, I'm going to use that. But you can say, I'm going to refresh, I'm going to refresh your legs with just putting a wet cloth to refresh them. Is it okay? Good. So you can kind of nicely kind of clean them. So you make it, instead of negative, positive, and you can say, I'm doing it for all clients, Ooh, so you nice. know, at the end of the, at the, end of the day, um, your feet might look, feel tired, so that kind of refreshes the blood circulation, so you kind of make it more make it scientific, <laughs> right? <laughs> right, rather than make them feel shame and uh, not nice about their legs, yeah? So you can't say you this is like from your face. Uh, no. <laughs> and then you throw that. Dude. I would say, maybe it's time to use Guys, come on. End of day, I know, but, um, you know. Okay. Let's do this. Right. So, so you can do, uh, remember on the, uh, remember what is the homunculus? Yes. Yeah. 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 Is this funny uh, guy with, with big feet, big hands, and big face? Yeah. So from the feet, we have lots of muscle, uh, sorry, nerve ending going to the brain. So that means that the feet are very sensitive. So it makes sense really to nice, to work really nicely on them. So you can start with just gliding your hands, and then doing another nice effleurage and then gliding your hands back and squeezing all their feet, all their toes. So both at the same time yeah. then? Both on the same time. <laughs> then you can do pretty much the opposite. Then you can take one leg at a time, and you can do that. You're taking one leg. It looks easy, but it's kind of confusing. And then one leg goes up, and the other, the two, the two hands goes up. One up here, one up there. And then you're changing one up here, one up there. And then you're changing one up here, one up there. Yeah? <coughs> You can work nicely both hands, both hands. <laughs> then you can come bring yourself in the sitting, and then you can work on the sole of the foot itself. It's very nice to just have more pressure points. So you put your if the camera can come closer, and if you can if you want to come closer, you just squeeze the outer side all around here, yeah, all around here, squeeze it. So the thumb, squeeze that, it's almost like the barrier between the sole of the foot and the rest of the foot. There is a nice bone there. <laughs> How's it feel, Bray? Really good. <laughs> <laughs> hmm? It's a nice release, that bit. Yeah. It, you, have, you can work pretty deep there. Mm. Um, Joel, what happens if they have, um, you know that um, plantar fasciitis? Plantar fasciitis. Because uh, that'll be very painful. Right? Um, when you press on it, it will be painful. Okay. But you can press around that, yeah. Okay. Yeah? Then going to here, and then massaging on, on both sides of the, of the Achille, Achilles. One here and one there. So you do something like that. Yeah? You're holding it, you see the, 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 the calcaneus bone, the hip bone, becomes in between those two fingers, just like that, and then you're massaging there. And you can go a little bit up, and it feels very comfortable to do that. You can put quite nice amount of pressure there, but you're massaging almost the bone, really. Yeah? 
and then you can go and massage the same way the, the Achilles tender attachment to the bone. Yeah? And I'm doing it mostly with that, with that bit. Mm -hmm. So the Achilles stand in here, and I'm doing it with that, just running it. So like frictioning it. I'm just enlarging the movement. Good. And then you can use the pointy bit of your finger to work on the sole of the foot. You can do it with two fingers or even three fingers. Just really nicely pushing. Can I go deep or is deep enough? It's about right, actually, yeah. So, some people could feel ticklish at this point. Yeah. If, the, if a person feels ticklish, then you have to do it slow and deep. Don't move, and don't do that. <laughs> yeah? So, really pressure points, and relax. Pressure points and relax. And it's counterintuitive. The deeper you go, the better they feel. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Then you can uh, almost like separate between the fingers, mm -hmm. metatarsals. Yeah? You can do it this way, or you can really do it this that way. Or even kind of invigorating. <laughs> Think about the legs, poor legs, you know, all the day inside the, inside the cage. Yeah. It's a nice rocking feeling when we the rocking. Yeah. It's really nice and it can go all the way to the leg. Yeah. You can do it this way also. Yeah. Or standing if you want or coming to do it this way. Good. Another time, nice epilogue. Kind of really nice and deep, connected to which muscle runs here? The tibialis yeah. yeah. anterior and on the back? The gastro the gastro gastroc and soleus. Good. So really nicely connected to. Yeah. Then you come, start again, working on the on the on the base of the foot on the sole of the foot, yeah? And then massaging all around onto the outside. Yeah, small movement. You can't do big movement here. It's a small place anyhow. <coughs> and then sole of the foot again. So really, effleurage, base, sole, the side of the foot with the knuckle, sole of the foot, yeah? Then separate between the fingers. You can even do nice milking around the fingers. That would be really good. Nice what? Milking. Okay. You like milking it, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Don't expect milk, but... Uh, <laughs> yeah. Stupid yeah. question probably, I know, but and then, nice. and then, just a sec, and then really separate between the fingers, yeah? And then the kind of rocking, vibration, yeah, this way, yeah. You can even do like a nice <laughs> kind of making it fall just side to side. To along. And you're making along most of this technique, mm. really. There is no a must and you go to someone else and there would be something completely different. Yeah, yeah. good. Yeah, nice but rocking. the knuckles when somebody hit you. Yeah. I can Could be, yeah. yeah. But check with them. I see that yeah. breathe and it's always nice when you're there my hands and attention is not on the foot but I see what's the response. Yeah? <laughs> I can have my feet. I can have my feet. Really nice. Ever. Just to hold it even. It's quite a comforting feeling. Though, Absolutely. You can stretch it a little bit. Any other question? Stupid question probably but um if they put on the client report form they don't like their feet doing, I'm assuming you avoid. You don't. Yeah. <laughs> you avoid, yeah. Okay. Just go against them, which is there are lots of other techniques, you c but really we kind of, you know, you can do that. Mm -hmm. oh, this is nice. Nice and <coughs> repeating.
Yeah, but let's see, start, and we'll go, we'll continue, okay?